Today, we are going to practice greatest and least. For greatest and least, we are going to be looking at greatest, which is the highest, and least, which is the lowest. So, our first question says, the weather channel measured how much rain fell one particularly rainy week. Which day did it rain the most? So we want to know the most. So if it's the most, we want the greatest or the least. We want greatest. So I'm drawing that arrow up. Okay, let's look at our numbers. 14, 12, 17, 8, and 5. And these numbers are all in centimeters of rain per day. Can we eliminate anything that is higher or lower, we can eliminate the lower numbers because we're looking at the highest, we want the most. So I'm gonna look at my numbers, anything that's single digit, I'm going to cross out because I know that's really low. So now what I have left are 14, 12, and 17. So which one of those numbers is the greatest? 17 is the greatest. So that means that Wednesday, was the rainiest day that week. Let's try another one. A school's fire drill performance was measured from day to day. On which day was the response time the slowest? Okay, when we deal with time, it's kind of backwards because time with slowest actually means you want the highest, the greatest time. Think of a race. Do you wanna have the fastest, or lowest time, yeah, you wanna be the quickest. So when we're talking about time, it's actually backwards. So if we want the slowest time for a fire drill, we're looking for the greatest number. So look at our numbers, 15, 20, 19, 12, and six. Which one of those is the greatest? Well, which one can we get rid of right away? We can get rid of the six because that's single digit, so that's too low. Then I have 15, 20, 19, and 12. Can I get rid of anything else? I'm going to get rid of the 12 because that's closer to six, and so is 15. 15 is really close to 12. So that leaves me with 19 and 20. Which one is greater, 19 or 20? 20 is greater. So that means Tuesday was the slowest fire drill day. A company tracks how many employees are late for work each day. Which day had the most late employees? We want the most or the least late. We want the most late. So if I want most, is that greatest or least? Greatest. So we have 17, 7, 19, 11, and 20. Which one is the greatest? Let's get rid of the lowest ones. 7 is low. And then I have 17, 19, 11, and 20. I'm also going to get rid of 11 because that's low too. So I have 17, 19, and 20. Which one of those is the greatest? Well, 17 and 19 are in the teens. So that means 20 is the one. So Friday had the most people late. Sophia counts how many people sneezed during math class one week. Which day had the most sneezes? We want the most sneezes, the greatest number of sneezes. 18. 20, 9, 19, or 7? Well, I'm going to get rid of 7 and 9. That leaves me with 18, 19, and 20, which is the greatest. 20 is. 20 is higher than 18 and 19, so that means Tuesday was the sneeziest day. Lily counts how many people sneezed during math class one week. Which day had the most sneezes? Again, do we want most or least? We want most, so we want the 
greatest. 2, 9, 14, 4, or 17 sneezes. Which is the greatest? What can I get rid of? I'm going to get rid of 2, 9, and 4. They're all single digits. So 14 and 17, which is greater? Which is more? 17 is greater. So that means Friday is the sneeziest day of the week. Grace counts how many birds land on the bird feeder each day. Which day had the most birds visit? We want most birds. Is that greatest or least? That's greatest. So we have 16, 18, 2, 20, or 9 birds. What can we get rid of first? We want to eliminate answers that cannot be. I'm getting rid of 2 and 9 because they're the lowest and they're single digit. That leaves me with 16, 18, and 20. Out of those, which is the most, which is the highest or the greatest? 20 is. The other two numbers are in the teens. So Thursday had the most birds. Next question says, a company tracks how many employees are late for work each day. Which day had the least number of lates? Okay, now we're saying least. If I have the least number, is that the highest or the lowest? That's lowest. Okay, so we're looking down. Okay, so Monday, 8, Tuesday, 13, Wednesday, 4, Thursday, 11, Friday, 16. Which is the least? So this time we're going to get rid of the highest answers. So the highest answers are double digits, 13, 11, and 16. I have 8 and 4 left. Which is lower? 4 is lower. That's the lowest number. So Wednesday had the least amount of people late. A school fire drill performance was measured from day to day. Which day had the lowest response time? We want lowest response time. What is the lowest response time? That means the fastest. So when we're talking about time, we want to be fast. So we want a low time. So we have 20, 10, 9, 19, and 14 minutes. Which one is the lowest time? The shortest amount of time? It's 9. I know this because that is the only single digit answer. So Wednesday is my answer. Next question, Isabel counts how many people sneeze during math class one week. Which day had the least number of sneezes? This time we want to know the least number of sneezes. Least is lowest. 17, 1, 4, 2, or 16 sneezes. Since we're doing the least, the lowest, Let's get rid of the high ones. The highest ones are my double digits, 17 and 16. So I have one, four, and two left. Which one is the least that is left? One is. So that is Tuesday. Let's do one more. A company tracks how many employees are late for work each day. Which day had the least number of lates? 20, 15, 4, 1, 5. Again, we want least number, the lowest. So we need to get rid of the higher numbers. So I'm going to get rid of my double digits, 20 and 15. That leaves me with 4, 1, and 5. Which is the lowest? One is the lowest. That's closest to zero. So that means Thursday was the lowest day. You did a great job with this activity. See you next time.